I'm pretty excited about this one. I ordered this stuff from Affordable Bender. Here's their notcher, which is really nice. I've never owned one before, but I'm told this one is way better than the Harbor Freight one and a couple other ones that you can buy. But here's the bender. This thing is light. They say it weighs less than 50 pounds. And I'd wager it weighs about as much as a 45 pound plate. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing video for this because I have seen uh, lots of videos for the affordable bender and how to use it and how good of a job it does, and how easy it is, and how light it is. But I've never actually seen someone unbox it. And although we've all seen already what it looks like, there's nothing more exciting than getting Christmas in July, or August, I guess it is. Yeah. And uh, being able to open up something that you got yourself. New tools, new toys, new, new car parts. So, that's what we're gonna do. Here's a little red tube. Where does that go to? I don't know. Oh, maybe it's the handle. And, ooh, wait, wait a minute. Every time I open a box for the tool or a part, I immediately look for the stickers. The stickers is the best part, especially, yeah, especially if there's two. Because let me tell you something. I'm probably gonna put one of these on the truck and drive around with it and advertise for affordable bender. But I actually have a big old book full of stickers. See, there's the ones I got from Ian Johnson for asking a question, or asking a couple of questions actually. I've got Iron Rock, uh, I've got uh, Rock Link, or that's for the, yeah, Iron Rock, Iron Man, Barnes, Ball Joint Eliminators, ICT Brackets, uh, total metal innovations. I just collect all the stickers and I put them in this book. So if you're selling tools and parts and we're buying them, stickers are awesome. They've kind of taped the the instructions and everything to the inside of this box, which is a nice feature so that it doesn't fall down and get all wrinkled and everything. They've got one of these shipping label sticker bags, stuck it on the inside of the box. That's a cool, that's a cool idea. Quick setup tips for your affordable bender, blah, blah, blah. I will read these so that I don't screw it up. And then they've got um, hydraulic bell. Ah, the, the manual for the bottle jack. And uh, probably gonna have a parts list. Yeah, there's a, a breakdown of the parts in there too. So if I ever have issues with that, I can order those up. And then it looks like I just pull this out. I have to slice this box. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh man. A lot bigger than it, than it seems like in the pictures. But. Also. I don't look like there's much to put together. There's this little plastic piece that looks like an eight. And there's of course the handle that you have to put together, but that's just like a normal jack. Seems like it's all assembled already. That's interesting. So you have your your guide here. I'm not sure. We put some lubricant on that. I may uh, grab one of the tubes that I bought and stick it through here. A couple of things. I see that they have a one bolt holding this jack on, which is probably fine. It's, it is loose, so it would probably be a good idea to go and tighten all the hardware that you think needs tightened. This is just a pin, I suppose, so that you can change out your dies. But this is really cool. It's got your angle gauge right there. Ordered it in an inch and three quarters. This is your tube holder. I don't know anything about this. This is one of those tools that I've never used before, so I'm super excited. Yeah, let me tighten up some of these bolts. I'll stick a tube in there and we will have some fun bending my very first tube. My countertop here is a bit of a mess, but I am too excited to read the instructions or clean anything up. I still don't know what this little plastic piece is. It might be a holder for something or I don't know, whatever. 
or actually it might have been a cover for for uh, for shipping somewhere but but anyway this works just like a normal bottle jack you can loosen it tighten it put the tube in through the back there then you put this little horseshoe thing right here off i'm sure that uh this needs to get loosened up a little more so i can manipulate this i can go up horseshoe piece goes on bolt goes through there yeah yeah i may need to put a spring um up here somewhere that pulls this whole piece back up like a return spring kind of like you would see on a on a press I'm not actually making anything for anything right now i just want to see um how hard it is to bend 120 wall inch and three quarter tubing da, da, da. here we go yeah bending 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 to the first time ever i do think that i'll make this to where i can mount it to a bench this bench or maybe i might even make a tube bending bench permanent you can permanently mount this and the tube notcher okay just about maxed out my jack here it looks like we're almost at 90 degrees or maybe we are um i i've also heard that there is something called spring back um, if you watch all the affordable bending videos, they talk about bending at seven or however many degrees past um, the bend that you desire, and then it'll kind of spring back into um, your pre-predicted angle. As far as this goes, I'm not going for anything specific. I just kind of want to bend this and test the limits. That's it. The, the jack is maxed out right there. So then release tension, take this bolt out. Um, I think, yeah, there we go. Loosen that up a little bit. Pull it out from the bottom, I suppose. <laughs> That's so cool. I just bent my first tube. I guess I'm ready to make a bumper, huh? That's pretty cool. I do need to make bumpers and I have cut and folded the back of this bed after I bobbed it and you can see that video in my playlist but um, this bumper is basically probably I don't know if I want to do a bend and come around I may have to do a mortise here to get more of a square edge to match this but having a bender so that I could do some cool stuff like that is going to be really really helpful especially I probably will buy the Exofab cage kit and modify it to fit the Jeep Comanche. Basically, are just going to use the front half and then have extra tubing. And I can build off of that using my new bender. I'm excited. All right, well, now I'm going to go watch some more videos and read these instructions, but I'm super excited about this thing, man. It weighs nothing. You can bend tube with it, you can take it with you. All that being said, I don't really have time to build anything with this right now, but next weekend I'm going to start working on my front bumper and uh, you'll want to see that. Who welded this? <laughs>